The idea is just to give a quick overview on uh, what we've been doing as Salter Mundi and as LibreMesh. Um, um, maybe I can, well, I was, Three years ago, um, firmwares, the developers of firmwares from various countries of the world started to collaborate together and created LibreMesh. Before we were Eigennet, QMP, and AlterMesh, and I don't know, no, no, and, and, and people from Giffinet. And, and then now after three years, we, we meet again. We, in these three years, we have worked together and made a lot of progress, having a working firmware common. And the, the, the important thing is we, we stopped working each one on each firmware and repeating stuff already implemented and started working together, not duplicating work, with the idea of creating a, a better firmware than we, what we don't alone. Okay, uh, so just <laughs> some of you might recognize people here. Um, Nico is right now not here, but uh, uh, okay. We we've, we've been working the last the last year, like in, the, in 2015, we got some grants. And so we did some intensive work in Cordoba. That would be uh, uh, among the major milestones we connected to the National University of Cordoba using some air fibers, whatever. Uh, that wasn't necessarily a good decision after all because there are very ex expensive equipment and one of them uh, actually burned out. Like one of, one of um, it's not totally burned out, but it's much malfunctioning, only after six months. And, uh, but, but, but bad luck, it's always bad luck, but the thing is that with tippelings or anything, you can replace them for maybe $50, and this cost, like, I don't remember, maybe $3,000. That was paid by a grant, but you cannot replace any part of it. And so... Um, yeah. Uh, and... Most recently, we managed to get allocated an AS number. Uh, and we are peering with uh, the University of Cordoba. And also, we have a backup tunnel with Hurricane. Because this peering, IPv6 peering, is, as you can see here, <laughs> this is the time that has been working the peering with the National University. This is Hurricane's peering. Uh, and this is not because of the National University, but of upstream uh, uh, things from... Yes. <laughs> so th this is the situation of IPv6 in Latin America. Four years after the IPv6 world launch, like there, there is no way to... I, I've heard that some ISPs are giving I, I, IPv6 to c c customers, but just beta testers and things like that. Um, so these these are kind of yes the major milestones. Yes. Yeah, it, it, there is a an accent here, so it's yeah. But if you look at uh, things in Spanish language, you will see these things. 
So, yeah, fundación, things like that. Um, so, um, we are mounting some server uh, space at the university, much like what you are doing in Funkfire, from what I talked with you. Like, they have this mixed server infrastructure and uh, client or like user access, and that balances out the symmetric bandwidth. So it's, we're looking forward to that same model. Um, I would like to talk more, but we don't have much time. So this is just to give a quick overview. We made many more things during these three years, but these were the last milestones in, in a way, which mean a lot was done to get here. And uh, last year, one of the, like two of the grants were specifically meant to develop LibreMesh. So uh, most of the development work was done in the last, the last years. Most of the code was wrote by Gio. <laughs> and, um, maybe he can give a quick overview on the progress on this last. So, three years ago, we had three different firmwares, each one addressing uh, the similar needs. And f first of all, we, we met together and defined uh, a common uh, goals on, on which work. And one of the goals, of, uh, the most um, ambitious work goals, was that what we produced was a modular firmware. So it, um, uh, in, in, in the end, it, we ended calling it a meta firmware, so it would be very easy to adapt it to the needs of different mesh net, uh, community networks. So we started uh, having uh, su support for BMX6 and uh, Batman Advanced, we, uh, because we, we designed also a network architecture that take advantage bo both of uh, layer two routing protocol like uh, Batman Advanced and uh, layer three routing protocol. And, and initially, we, 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 well, Batman Advanced is the only one the, that is working at layer two, so it, it wa wasn't a real choice, but uh, it was the unique. And, uh, uh, and uh, BM BMX7, uh, 6 was what uh, we chose. And recently, we have added also support for LS OLSR 1, and right now, OLSR 2. And we are working also on Bubble. Um, uh, in, um, in September of uh, last year, I worked also on, um, on uh, supporting BGP as protocol. BGP is not auto-configurable like the other's protocol, but we, the, the, the goal was to have it easy to configure and, more, and, um, and the more difficult thing was making uh, interoperating BGP with the dynamic routing protocols. And uh, uh, the one which I used to, to, to do the work was BMX6. And in, during this process, because we had a very, a very big routing table in GIFINET, like 3,000 routes, we discovered a lot of bugs, and thanks to, to Axel, we were ad addressed in the new version of BMX, that is the 7. And, um, and, and right now, LibreMesh is using BMX 7, and it's, it is capable of in, making interoperate BGP networks and uh, mesh networks. And we are using it in Gifinet in Catalonia. Um, so what happens is that uh, BMX and, uh, and BGP shares route, routes without uh, uh, without um, sh sh shares routes without creating loops. So, what was happening in Catalonia was that uh, the the main part of the network was was uh, running BGP, and uh, the mesh networks were just like last last mile island that was just using for distribution. Right now, with the, with the work no, uh, done, we, we can do also main, uh, main uh, piece of, uh, of GIFINET with, uh, with, mesh, pro uh, with mesh protocols. And, um, and we, have, we have already one, 
we have two networks running LibreMesh in Barcelona and doing, uh, and doing interoperation with, uh, with BGP, and, and one in, more in the south. Oh, it's okay. No, no, no. And, and, and it's working. It's, uh, and well, I, I will publish the, 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 the documentation of the work that he was showing before. And that it's all explained. And moreover, this, all, all this documentation uh, documents the, um, all the, the software architecture and network architecture of uh, LibreMesh. And if you want to take a look, uh, it will clarify a lot of why you, when you flash LibreMesh on your router, end up with the 30 interfaces. <laughs> and it's, well, why? OK, so it's OK for me. Any question? We have not that much time, so short questions, please. OK, I, I wanted to know if uh, you thought about uh, getting rid of BMX when using BGP. That somehow, like uh, having only the layer 2 protocol mm -hmm. and uh, directly BGP. Okay. Without having BMX uh, in the middle somehow, mm -hmm. if it, you it, think about that, it's, it is yeah, it's, possible. It's possible. It's possible. Okay. It, it's just building your Libre Mesh imaging. It's uh, and selecting the Proto BGP and Proto Batman Advanced, and then the, the only the, the the only bad thing is that you need to a, a minimal at least a minimal configuration saying to BGP, which is the IP and the IS number of the peer. To connect to, but it's the only thing it's needed right now to configure correctly BGP on on LibreMesh, and it's uh, in, it's not avoidable that. Uh, just a quick uh, wrap up. Another part of the last year work was implementing LibreMesh also here in this in these towns. So there is this big town, or well, it's a small town, but it's the biggest network, which is one layer two cloud, and it's connected uh, with another one node cloud that is a mountain, that is connected with this cloud here, like this is 40 kilometers, and some other uh, smaller clouds here. So in total, it's like maybe five different layer two clouds, like they, they are different Libre Mesh networks, and they are all working um, like they are all interconnected through BMX and connected to the to the internet, and it like it took some time, but it all worked. So the promise we, we the promise we made back three years, it's working right now. And yes, mm -hmm. this also this also involves some wireless bridges. So there are some connections some layer three connections that are made using ethernet cables from the TP-Link stand point of view, mm, which is what we are going to test here in, in some way. Like, the, that's, the, that's, one of, that's supposed to be one of the situations that we want to test here.